Hi, I'm Shea Bletchen and I'm a luxury real estate photographer and filmmaker. And I wanted to talk to you today about the dramatic price difference in ocean front and ocean view listings and how you can get better media. And it's not quite as easy as you think. And there's a bit of misinformation out there. So I'm here to use my experience and set the record straight and give you some tips, even if I'm not your photographer, on how to get the best out of ocean view listings. So let's go. For starters, I'm here in San Diego, California, definitely a beach community. And we are uh, at the end of April, which means we have May gray and June gloom coming. And we're talking about weather conditions. We're talking about clouds and fog and bad lighting, none of which are very good for ocean view listings. And so let's talk about how to maximize our opportunities to show those million dollar views. So here's the story. We've got a listing. It's got a great view or even better yet, it's on the beach. It's oceanfront and the realtor and the homeowner and the photographer are all on the same page. We all want the best ocean view pictures we can get. How do we get them? And one of the first things that the realtors say was this place gets amazing sunsets. We've got to get the sunset. We've got to get twilight, the money shots, right? Great. I agree. Let's do it. First problem. What if it's cloudy? Uh, at the beginning of this story, we need to talk about the ocean, which reflects the color of the sky. Most any good real estate photographer can do a great job of replacing skies on a cloudy day, but replacing the ocean is darn near impossible. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is drop Photoshop from your terminology. Oh, you can just Photoshop it. That's what I hear all the time. We need to do it when the weather's good and when the ocean actually looks relatively decent. If it's a cloudy, foggy day, there is no fixing that. You need to have great weather. Okay, before we get a little more into the weather, let's get on to our chronology of the photo shoot. We definitely want a sunset photo shoot. What happens just before sunset? Let's say sunset's at seven o'clock at the beach and we're gonna show up at four or five o'clock to start the photo shoot. So I'm standing on the balcony. I look out to the west at the ocean. Where's the sun right now? Well, it's getting ready to set, right? A couple hours before sunset, it's right up here. What did they tell us when we were kids? Don't ever look into the sun. You'll be blinded. Guess what? Your camera also gets blinded. So when you show up at four or five o'clock to do a sunset photo shoot, you are gonna have blinding sunlight coming straight into the house. You won't be able to see the ocean. It's just gonna be white glare. We don't wanna see white glare. I wanna see the Bahamas. I wanna see blue water, right? Beautiful beach weather. You can't see that late afternoon until sunset. Now at sunset, it all changes. Twilight, it all changes, and you're gonna get some amazing pictures. And even if things are cloudy, we can tweak it a little bit and make things quite a bit better. The first thing that we need to do, if you want daytime shots of a nice beach day, or a nice blue ocean looking out to the west out of the main living areas of the home, and of course the drone shot showing the home on the beach, you need to catch that before the sun is blinding in your eyes. So you might think, okay, the morning, maybe the morning would be a better time to shoot. Okay, so, and you're absolutely right. We're gonna continue this story. We're gonna say morning. Problem, in San Diego, we have night and morning low clouds. So if you show up at seven or eight or nine o'clock in the morning to get beautiful pictures with the sun lighting up the ocean and the blue water, guess what? We've got clouds and fog until probably 11 o'clock or noon almost every day for about four or five months a year and very frequently apart from that. We're already here in the story. We now know that we need to come probably 11, 12, one o'clock to get those nice views out of the ocean before the sun is blaring in our eyes. Then we're gonna have to take a break and come back for a second photo shoot to get that sunset and that twilight. So where are we now? We are now coming to the property twice, which is much less convenient for the realtor. It's less convenient for me, the photographer. It's less convenient for the homeowner who we, wanna, we want them to be gone so they're not in the way during the pictures. This is also going to add cost to the photo shoot, but if you've got a $10 million view or $5 million view or $20 million view, it's okay. We need to invest a little bit more money. We need to spend more time on the property. We need to come and go a couple of times to get all of the really amazing shots. So that's big secret number one. If you've got an oceanfront listing, you should be doing two photo shoots. One for the blue water daytime shoot and then another one at sunset and twilight. 
Again, here in San Diego, we call it May gray. We call it June gloom. The microclimate of the Southern California basin creates a little area where clouds and fog tends to just sit uh, all the way from Oxnard, all the way down to the Mexican coast. And, and a lot of times it just doesn't clear up. It can be weeks sometimes and you have to be ready for that if you're a homeowner if you're a realtor and you've got an oceanfront listing i will not take that job unless i know there's a fairly decent chance of there being blue sky and sunshine we need some sunlight we need shadows we need some sparkle in the waves um, so let's talk a little bit more about weather because this is a very sensitive issue we look at the weather forecast and it says oh great Tomorrow, it's going to be sunny in Del Mar all day. Starting at nine o'clock until dark, it's gonna be sunny. I saw it on the news. I saw it on the Weather Channel. Guess what, you're right. I can't tell you how many times I've been at the racetrack in Del Mar and it is absolutely sunny and clear and it's a beautiful day. And two blocks away at the edge of the water, there's a fog bank that goes all the way offshore. So really important to remember that even if we do have good forecasted weather, that forecast is not over the ocean. There is not a uh, reliable weather forecast. And believe me, I've actually talked to the head meteorologist of the San Diego National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration about how, how can I as a photographer forecast where these clouds are gonna be? Because sometimes they're 20 miles offshore and it's a beautiful day. And sometimes they're right on the edge of the beach and the fog comes and goes. Um, I, I was at a listing last year with a, uh, in Solana Beach, about five blocks from the beach incredible beautiful house and we sat there and the fog line and the cloud line was directly above us it was beautiful and hot and sunny it was like 80 degrees but looking out toward the ocean completely socked in unshootable cannot get good pictures without great weather okay so now that we've had this conversation and we've told the story of your average uh photo shoot for an oceanfront listing here's what i think is the best way to approach it um, the views are obviously important. We need to schedule it on a day when there's a very, very good chance of clear skies offshore. That's hard to do and can be weeks and weeks of waiting to get that. And sometimes there will be a sunny day, but the photographer, myself included, is already booked on that day. So we can't just pick, you know, it's, it's tough to find the right day. So number one, got to have good weather. Number two, ideally you wanna shoot the property twice, late morning, 10, 11, noon, one o'clock, come back again at six, seven, eight o'clock at night for the sunset and twilight shoots. It's two visits, it's extra time, it's extra travel, it's extra money, but it's worth it because the commission check is gonna be amazing and the homeowner is gonna rock it out with lots of million dollar views uh, of revenue coming in. When we have this conversation, if you happen to be my client or are trying to hire me, I won't take the listing unless I know the weather's good. I only wanna put out amazing pictures and I can't do it. The ocean is an unusual situation. It's like a diamond, you know, the sun comes down and hits the diamond ring and all the little uh, edges of glass and and it sparkles and it that's what the sunlight does to the ocean and without that without the blue is just not the same thing no way to fake it sorry about that thanks for your patience today there are a few other tips here on my channel if you want to look around you might find something else that's useful for you as a realtor or as a homeowner and trying to maximize revenue maximize your uh, visual interest with your clients as they uh, start looking for hopefully the home that you're selling. So appreciate your time. Once again, I'm Shay Bletchenden and we'll see you again.